Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. This is your weekly love reading. So if you want to skip the intro and the spiel, there will be a timestamp that goes straight to the reading. So it will be in the description box below. You just click on the timestamp and it will take you to that part of the video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. We usually just go down one story, but you know, anything can change within a reading. So if it doesn't resonate this time, then maybe another video at another time will, or another reading somewhere in on the channel will, because they're not time specific. Uh, you might also want to check out uh, your Venus, Moon and Rising signs as well and just see. So a horse just came out for you. I'll pull another card. Uh, as well as Gemini. So, oh, sea serpent. Okay. <laughs> like, come on, get on with the reading. Stop this spiel. Okay, let's get on with this for you, Gemini. So, yeah, I don't, these are not time specific. They're just you get this in information when you get it and you can go through old videos is what I was trying to say if this one doesn't resonate. So I'm just going to look at this for a second myself, Gemini. Sea serpent and horse. You know, this is a funny one because I feel like you're kind of both of these. But I feel like this sea serpent represents a relationship that is mirroring something that's going on for you. And there's been an ending of a cycle here. And when there's an when something ends, something new begins. And I think you know this. I think you know that something has ended here. This is more to do with you, Gemini. The other person's not coming up yet. I might have to pull a card for them. We'll just see where this is going. But, yeah, there's this. You are fully aware that this, this is something that has ended with this person, with this connection. I hate to say, uh, the words I got was there's this person's done something unforgivable. Which is almost why you don't want their energy in the reading. It's like I've cut them out completely. <laughs> and they're not even here. Uh, yeah, we can talk about them in that sea serpent energy. They've done something eye-opening and you're just like uh, in shock, just kind of going, oh, my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe you've done that. And it's, it's, I'm done. I'm out of here. So, yeah, the other person's just been cut off. Like I said, Gemini, this is not going to resonate for all of you. It also doesn't have to be a real, you know, when I'm talking about a love reading, it doesn't have to be a romantic love. It can actually just be a relationship. So, this could be someone that you've cut off at some point in your life. It could be a friend, family, work. It could be anything. So, but yeah, definitely you're hurt by this. Definitely you're angry, you're wounded, but also you're slightly disgusted. Slight, I'm getting this look of disgust here. So do we want the other person in the reading? I don't know. Will I pick a card for them? Because... Ultimately, we're here to talk about both of you. So, but I just feel like you don't want your energy or your cards anywhere near them. Cheetah, there you go. That might exactly be the problem. They're a cheetah. Cheating, fire energy, very self serving person just does what they want. They'll go chasing other people. They'll just do what they want. They don't care about someone else and someone else's feelings. And that has just been like a huge, can't believe you've done that moment. So, yes, this person has done something that has just, yeah, been un an unforgivable overstepping of the boundaries, definitely could have cheated on you. Or if it's a case of there's a betrayal of some point, at some point, someone has done something that has been completely self-serving and you thought that they weren't like that. It's a bit of a surprise to you that they would be so brazen and so not caring. 
yeah, you thought they cared a bit more. They they just showed their true colours, which was not nice, not nice at all, Gemini. So let's pull some cards. Let's pull some cards. I'm sorry, Gemini. This is coming up for a reason, but very much you uh, this. They might be trying to come back to you and chase back. They want, might be wanting, you know, forgive me, bring me back, take me back, all that sort of stuff. That's why, why they might be coming back because you put these cards up, the cheetahs wanting to head back towards you fast. They want forgiveness, but I don't think you're quite ready to forgive them and I don't know if you can. Like I said, I, I think that. It could actually be quite unforgivable. I don't think there's any going back. We'll go, we'll pull some cards and see. Let's clarify. But there's been, yeah, a lack of integrity, a lack of honesty. A lack of consideration for your feelings. Total disrespect here. King of Cups, strength and the chariot for you. I just have to say with this person or situation, this energy, that's this connection here, they're coming back to you, but I don't feel like they've learned any lesson. The only lesson is that they want you. They just chase whatever it is that they want and they like the hunt. So if you're hard to get and suddenly cut yourself off, that suddenly becomes interesting to them. As soon as they get you again, they're going to turn around and do the same thing again. They haven't learned anything from this lesson is the energy I'm getting from them. So, yeah, let's find, pull some cards for them. They've got the Sun card, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Could definitely be a fire sign, could actually be a Leo, because <laughs> there's a few, they've got the felines, but a very immature Leo here, very immature. If it is a Leo, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but here they are. We have the sun, the page of wands, and the three of pentacles. Yeah, look, I just think it's just they just do whatever they want. They see something really clearly. They're very childish, very childish. It's like, I see it, I want it, I get it, I got it, you know? And... This person might actually be someone that's – it could be someone you're working with as well. I just get a very high level of immaturity here. Total disregard. They're very happy to step on other people's toes in order to gain something for themselves. So – I'm kind of getting there's a borderline sociopathic tendency here with this person, very narcissistic, just loves themselves, thinks they're amazing, brilliant, best thing since sliced bread, who wouldn't want me, I'm amazing. Uh, I just don't know because they're moving so fast with that cheetah energy and the energy is like that, I don't know when they land whether we, it doesn't feel like it's they're particularly deliberately hurting anyone, but it's because they're not considering anyone else's feelings that they're not deliberately hurting anyone, but they are hurting someone, if that makes sense. So they're, I get they're just very self serving and they, they're just, yeah. And that, it's that three of pentacles energy that I'm just trying to get. It's something about a work situation that they will, they're the sort of person that will get promoted and promoted and promoted and it's not because they're the better person at the job. It's because they've played that game of charming someone, manipulating someone or whatever, sleeping with the right person. They, this is someone that could sleep their way to the top, if you know what I mean. There's something, there's no... <laughs> There's no, I'm just getting ethical fading. There is no ethics. There's no integrity with this person. So, and it's frustrating seeing them because it's like, you know, you could be working really hard, doing a really good job. It's your turn. It's your turn for something. But no, they don't care. 
All right. Okay, let's pull a card for this this connection, Gemini. Like I said, this is not going to resonate for all of you, but for some of you, this is probably going to really resonate, unfortunately. Okay, there's too many cards there, but the one card that did stick out was higher ground, which I think you definitely have moved to higher ground to get away from this person. You definitely created a very safe distance between you and this other person. What do we have? Shift your energy. Shift your energy. So a one and a nine, 19... A one and a nine makes ten, which makes a one. So let me have a look at this. This is a beautiful card. These cards are so beautiful. Yeah, look, I think what I mean, what this means actually is that it's saying you need to find a way to get out of that toxic energy completely. Uh, to actually shift because I feel like you're still reeling from this and you're still involved and attached to their energy and it's just creating a whole heap of trouble for you, like mentally, physically, it's troubling you and it's like you just get away from me but it's, you can't get rid of that toxicity because you can't release them. Um, you can't believe they did this to you. So it's kind of saying you need to get an, into a new headspace somehow with this and what I'm getting is to just go do something totally different like go away for a weekend or go out with different people or take a week off work get out of their get out of their realm don't be near them anywhere just go do something different where you're not thinking where you can shift your energy so when you come back you're in a clearer space and you don't have to be it will be easier for you to deal with that Okay, let's pull some messages from the angels around this. What do you want to say to Gemini about this connection here? What do you want to say to Gemini, angels? Unlikely. <laughs> okay, unlikely. Yeah, there's a couple of things here. Like it's a completely, un it's sort of like I could imagine you saying that to them, like when they're asking to have another go with you or turn with you or whatever it is that they want to play with you again, they want you back. Just unlikely, unlikely. It's this real air of as if unlikely. But I also get the message from the angels that this is unlikely to occur again for you this isn't a, a pattern that's happening this is kind of a one-off event because this person is not someone that I think you will see this person if there's a person like this that comes into your life again they'll immediately be sending setting off alarm bells and red flags so it's unlikely this is going to happen again to you as well so I think just in general everything about this connection is unlikely so let's pull a card for the outcome of this energy as it stands as is. And like I said, things can shift and change. I don't feel like we're going to see any shift from you, but we'll see. We'll see. What's the outcome of this energy that's here? What's the outcome for Gemini? Okay, we've got the Tower, we've got the Page of Pentacles and we've got the Seven of Swords. At the bottom, the Ace of Pentacles. A new path opens, shift your energy, you'll find yourself in a new space here. Okay, I think what's going to happen, you know, after the initial shock of what happened, that Tower moment... You're pretty much just saying, seeing this as a new opportunity to move forward into a different space. You're taking this opportunity with full hands. You're actually being very proactive and positive about how you're responding to this, which is really good. 
They, after being told that you're not interested and will never even consider this connection ever again, will slink off with their tail between their legs, like that cheetah, just sneakily slink off, ready to do it to somebody else again. They haven't changed. They haven't learnt a lesson. Thank you, George, my rooster. They haven't. They're just going to, I think they'll leave you alone. They're a bit, they're spineless, this, this person. They just don't care. They don't care about anyone. It's kind of just bizarre. I'd love to pull some cards, actually. Actually, I will. Let's do it. Let's pull some cards and just find out what's going on deep down. If this is some sort of sociopathic gene pool that's happening here, or is there something that's happened deep down that has caused this behavior? Let's, I mean, they're incredibly immature. That could just be a maturity thing. We've got the world card. Let's just, just want to ask this for a second, Gemini. We've got the Ten of Cups and we've got the Eight of Cups. Alrighty, well, I'm getting here that at some point in their life, their world collapsed and it probably could have been around when they were a child. There's some sort of childhood trauma here where it felt like everything just disappeared, their world disappeared and they were they had to leave. Someone left them or they had to leave. So I'm not getting, well, yeah, there, there's just a huge thing that has happened to them. And so therefore they take full control of their world now by not caring what other people say or think because if you're just caring about number one, then no one else is going to get hurt. You're the one hurting other people, aren't you? So this is such a big thing. I don't think you're going to ever get, they're not going to reveal this to you. It's not something that they're even going to ever talk about with you. I don't think you're ever going to get there with them and you don't want to, but you need to know, I guess, what is going on deep down in 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 their world and it's all about control. They need to control their situation in order to have this false sense of control really because of what's happened to them because this was a completely out of control moment where their happiness was just taken from them and they had absolutely no control about that. And that's why I'm getting something... When they had, when they were powerless, that's why I'm getting childhood. Something happened in the childhood. So, it, I mean, it is sad. It is sad what's happened to this person. And I guess maybe hopefully that gives you some clarity as to why they behave this way because I don't think it's got anything to do with you. It's got nothing to do with you as a person or self-worth. They will just go on and do the same thing over and over and over again. It's their pattern. They can't even go into any kind of deep relationship because it just brings up this pain so yeah i hope that brings some sort of clarification for you gemini if this is resonating with you so please leave a comment and if you'd like to hear more please like subscribe or leave a message take a deep breath <sighs> we've got through that one it's good that you've detached yourself and created your own space so I think just see that as a bad egg, a bad experience. Move on from it. Don't read too much into it, Gemini. Okay? Bad connection. So I hope that makes sense. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye, Gemini.